G'day everyone, Darky here from Serenity Lord. I guess with all multi boxes, we always get the questions of, you know, how do you do that? Why do you do that? What are you using to do that? So I thought, um, just for the benefit of the guildies at Ars and uh, whoever's interested, uh, I might give a bit of a quick look at my screen for a short while and try and give a basic understanding of multi boxing as a method to play the game. I'm just going to do this as an information type video. Um, I'm not going to get too detailed. It's basically just an introduction to everything. Uh, later on I might give some gameplay footage and some more detailed type descriptions. Now there's plenty of ways to multi-box. You can use hardware, you can use uh, software options. What I'll cover in this one is just the basic tools of what I use that fits my playstyle and I feel comfortable in playing with. Um, as I said I'll keep it nice and simple and later on some follow-up videos will go a bit more into detail into my macros, um, the scriptings that I use, things like that. Okay, the first thing you notice is that they're all the same class. Uh, in this case, it's Hunters. This is purely a team I made up just for mucking around with. Um, you can multi-box basically any makeup of class. Um, of course, if you want to run dungeons, you want to have the standard makeup of one tank, one heal, three DPS. Uh, in other games where numbers in parties might change, you just fill in that gap. But the principles of multi-boxing are basically the same. Okay, so let's look. See, looks pretty easy. Now let's take a look at this five-on-one screen setup I have. Okay, so you can see there that we've got a main screen followed by the four slave screens down the bottom. Um, and let's add in the UI now to see what that looks like. Okay, it looks a little bit more complex, but still very basic. Um, all I've got very simply here is um, my obviously my unit tabs. In the middle of that is my heal bars, and then obviously the, the normal action bars down the bottom. Uh, later on, I'll go into what sort of add-ons and, and mods I'm using to make it all nice and neat for me. Um, easy way to switch between these ones, I've got some hotkeys that do it. So, as you see, I can just jump between each of the different ones. You'll also notice that on each of the windows, basically most of the, um, the icons and everything are all in the same basic position. So all the buttons. Um, healing bars. Now I use a, a mouse pass type setup. Again, very basic. It just means I pass my mouse clicks to each of the windows and I use that for healing. Uh, I might use it for calling pets at certain times, things like that. Uh, very simply, what multiboxing is, is I press a button and it broadcasts that button to all of the windows. From then, uh, whatever settings I may have in macros or on those buttons, that's what then runs. So if I press jump, they all jump. If I press a button to call the pets, they all call the pets. That's just um, basically something that I've set up simply here. If they were all different classes, obviously you could have those buttons doing different things on each of the classes, just depending how you set up the macro. So let's take a look at um, formations, moving them around. Uh, it's, we don't want them standing still all day, so let's see what we can do there. First thing, we'll just pop those pets away. We don't want them getting in the way of the footage. Again, I just pressed one button in this case, I just pressed nine, and it passed that nine to all of them, which was dismiss pet. Now, very simple macro uh, is just obviously the follow macro. So by pressing a button that casts them all to follow, as you see, they all target me. And then we, we get the run around type feature. Again, you've got formations, so you can make them move into different directions. That's a very simple thing, but um, I'll go into more detail later on. If you want to put them into a star formation, there they go there. That's quite convenient. Obviously, if someone attacks one of your tunes, you can all crossfire onto them. These are just, again, made around as a mucking around just to see how five hunters go against a bunch of mobs. Now, if I split these guys out, I'll give you an idea of how the assistance goes. So, you'll see here, they're all targeting the main tune. Now obviously what I want them to do is to assist that main tune onto whatever target. So I have a, uh, a button set up which passes the assistance tab to whatever my target is. And then if I change to those, they all take on the assist of the main. So they all grab the target. And then obviously we can do something simple like let's all fire at the one time. Boom. 
Now again, these are all the same makeup, just for a bit of a laugh. Uh, and we can also do something like bring out the pets, change what target we're going to, all that sort of thing. All right, so let's get those away from attacking. Now here's a here's a very simple principle on how formations work. If I'm standing there with this one tune and I press strafe left, strafe right, obviously they move. If I then pass, like pressing that button, it passes that button but to a different position on the hotkeys, then the other ones move as I want them to. So if I have strafe left actually going strafe right on an alternate one, then that's what you get on the other side. Now this particular makeup, I don't have a set boss, I don't have a set main tune. Excuse the error there, but I can run this one off and then have them all following that one as well. Just a bit of convenience, and that is a little bit more complex. So later on in the videos, I'll go into that. The error, the errors I'm getting is just for a couple of add-ons that I'm just still configuring a little bit. As you can see, quite a nasty little team: five hunters, five ravagers. But that again is just a fun team. Uh, if you want to play a dungeon team, they're actually once you get the hang of it, you can run a dungeon pretty easily. It just it, multi boxing a dungeon is a different play style together than just running it single. You have to be aware of your positioning of all five tunes. You have to be aware of positioning uh, of your healer, your tank, all that sort of stuff. Okay, now here's something a little different. Um, you've gone from seeing five DPS classes to an actual party team now. So what you see in the middle here is a, a paladin and surrounded by four shamans. That's just the um, choice that I made in this particular party, but um, druids also make a very nice uh, heal for an end game team. Um, reason you have shamans, and this is quite an easy makeup, is obviously you've got 16 totems to play with, you've got any fears, uh, you've got chain heals, all that sort of stuff. So they do work well together, and Paladin is probably the better of the tanks to have in a multi-box team, just purely because they, they can hold aggro. Um, and they've got the AoE type aggros and taunts, makes it a bit easier for you to control everything. So let's look at that again in the five window setup. Okay, so you can see all the sub windows down the bottom there. And there's our UI. A little bit more complex than the, um, the five tunes because obviously these are end game raiders now, they're level 80. Um, they basically have the, the option of a lot more different spells. Now what we have here is I have uh, three DPS, which are these guys here, they're all elemental shamans, and one heal shaman. Now if I want to uh, heal this particular central tune, there we go. Now what I have on the healer is basically I'm, I'm just pressing one particular button. On this button uh, it performs two functions, so I'm pressing say button number three. What that does is it puts up my sacred shield and my holy shield. On the healer side there, it's casting it's casting a sequence of, of healing. So you can see there, it's just moving through. Now I'm just clicking on this so you can see the way it works. But basically it all passes through on a button push. So as I'm pressing 3 there, if we watch the tank, the tank's putting its heals on. And obviously, in an emergency case, you might want everyone to drop the heals. That's quite simple there. So all my DPS then drop the heals just to pass on the healing. And you obviously get the joys of having chamois where you can drop totems. So using the same principles as what we used with the five hunters, but what we get in this chance is a team that can run a dungeon. Uh, in this particular case, these are all 5k gear score tunes they can run. Um, inside ICC, they can run heroics, all that sort of stuff. So that means I can I can farm a heroic any time I want. Almost exactly the same as what you saw with the hunters, but in this case, you've got a, a higher end team all made up. I don't have a now I can just get rid of those totems I need a totem. or drop them again. I mentioned earlier about the m mouse clicking. Here's the sort of thing I can do. I can just click here, and it passes that mouse click to all the windows. So anyway, here's a bit of a, a basic setup for you guys. Uh, I'll go into more detail in the following videos. I hope you enjoyed this first introduction and uh, gives you a basic idea of what it looks like to be a multi-boxer and, and general idea of how to get there.